cut? So we go to a 9.5 f-stop on that, on that one. 9.5 Yeah. OK, ready? Mm-hmm. Rolling. OK, put your hand in and touch it. Exposure therapy works no matter where it's for PTSD, whether it's for an animal phobia or claustrophobia, etc. by um, gradually exposing someone to what they fear and eventually, eventually they habituate. And there's different theories on why this works, but the basic principle is always if you have somebody experience what they're afraid of long enough in a controlled setting, they will get better. Specifically with 3D, humans perceive looming stimuli meaning when you see the snake coming directly towards your face, very differently than static stimuli. Now, by having a stimuli come close to you in that way, it activates sections of the brain, such as amygdala, that are associated with fear and associated with memory. What we're trying to do in this project is create a better video exposure by having, um, giving people the opportunity to see the snakes and spiders as if they were normally looking at them by using stereoscopic 3D in an isolated Oculus Rift environment. A lot of what they think of with filming techniques, with 3D, with video games, is it's an often limited view of just seeing this can only be used for entertainment, this can only be used just for novel purposes. But the truth of the matter is, is that 3D is progressively being used less in the movie industry and more and more of this virtual reality technology is being used in research applications. I think with a school like UT, they often think of it as being as far away from a close-knit community as possible because it's so big. But the thing is, is that it really is in touch because you have departments as diverse from film and psychology uniting towards one goal, working together to combine art and science in order to help people get better.